Hi, welcome to The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network. Today we have with us founding member of The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network, now fabulous producer, one-time agent, Mark Bass. Welcome back, Mark. Hey, Ivy. It's so, so great to see you. It was really, you, you. It was really <laughs> great to get the invitation to come back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'm here because of you. Well. So everyone yeah. at home, you have him to thank. And I'm here ramblings. because of all of them. So it's been Aww, great. Aw, look at you being this, all fabulous and PC. Well, you know, this, <laughs> this started, what, what, four years ago? Yeah, yeah how long have we been doing yeah, this? It's about four years ago that um, there was an idea. Wow. And there was a little pilot episode shot in a Rinky Dink studio mm -hmm. on a Saturday, and we're still in a Rinky Dink studio, and it's still a Saturday. Oh, it's really progressed. Yeah, back yeah. in back in the day, they were cranking the camera by hand. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe back in your day. <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Mark's like, I'll kill you later after yeah. we finish shooting day all job, the episodes. Ivy. Okay. I know, right? Yeah, right. Good thing my day job is casting. All right, so. So um, why are we here? What's this about? So, yes. Who's uh, on first? Yes. So um, why is this day different than all other days? Um, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. today we're going to be watching Jennifer Oda, and yep. uh, she sent us a, a demo reel all the way from the Big Apple in New York City, and yep. let's take a look. And with no delay, picking up the bounty and our swans and our We've been traveling from state to state, and I don't understand what they say. 3,000 years with no place. I like nice guys. The nice guy, but with the edge, you know? Like he has a goatee. Or maybe he's having uh, some tattoo. He's, uh, he's a good listener. He's very laid back, but he's not pushover. He's strong. He has a stamina. He speaks softly, but he carry a big stick. Mm, deal killer? If he's living with his parents. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. I got you, right? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Don't be shy. I'm not shy. I'm too serious. It's not a good thing. Ray, calm down. You know we couldn't leave him behind. Oh! Shit. Stupid motherfucker. You didn't have to kill him. He was my friend. He would never have said anything. It's not like I knew he was going to be here, Gray. I was in there waiting for him. Well, you fucked up. Who's that? His fragments of metropolitan mysticism give me the chills. So, what are we to do with these spring days that are now fast coming on? Listen, I was supposed to be somewhere 20 minutes ago, but why don't you give me your number and maybe we can continue this conversation another time. Lady Shanghai! That's right, bitch! And I finally got you exactly where I want you. Greek God. You know, you're really annoying. Sometimes I can't even stand you. Wait, I think a woman your age can know how to parallel park a fucking car. That's all I'm fucking saying! Yeah, did I not ask you if you wanted to drive the car? Did I not say that at the yeah, right of me? I not fucking just... ask you if you felt comfortable driving the fucking car. How am I supposed to feel comfortable? It's the little differences. I mean, they got all the same shit over there that they got over here. But it's just... A little different. Example? Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Why? Because he didn't have the guts. Okay, and we're back. We just watched Jennifer Oda's uh, demo reel. And so, um, Mark Bass, why don't you lead us off in terms of your thoughts now that you're a big time producer? Oh, thanks. Jennifer, just a couple of thoughts for you. One is I thought your reel was a little bit long. Your material was interesting, um, and it could go a little bit faster. Uh, I know that you probably thought it was really great and cute to end it with the skeleton scene, but that's the part that I remember the most from watching the tape. Mm -hmm. um, and just some you know, advice. The production value was good. The sound was good. 
some of the music uh, that carried throughout the reel was kind of a distraction. I don't know, what, yeah. what did you think about the music? No, writing? I'd absolutely agree. I think, you know, ultimately we have to think about what a demo reel is and it's supposed to showcase you at your best, but also take into consideration that sometimes their production value, if it's not as high as it should be, it will actually take away from your, um, the how people perceive your abilities because if it's this, super low budget which you know obviously there's nothing wrong with doing that but it has music that's really not appropriate or the music is playing louder than you're speaking it can actually take away from it so the one scene that she had in the wilderness with the other guy and then there was that sort of music kind of reminiscent of like old porno music I mean no (laughs) offense but it it actually have you watched old pornos Yes, all the time. Okay. Don't tell my mom. Okay. But it, and in fact, it pulled focus from what I was actually watching it because I kept thinking, wow, this music is so terrible. Um, so in effect, it can actually have the the reverse. It's a, ne- it's a yeah. It, it becomes almost a negative because that's what you remember. And when I watch a reel now, I look at it. The first thing I want to do is I want to know the name of the person, and mm-hmm. you did a good job because your name was at the front of it, mm-hmm. really well done. And she had all her different looks. And all yeah, all and of her different And she looks really looks. pretty in some of those shots. Yeah, and and it was really fast. Um, the, you know, uh, first couple of scenes were very memorable, and that might actually be an interesting way to end it is go back to the way that you began this one, mm-hmm. because that's kind of what you want somebody to remember if they're thinking about hiring you for a job. I see. Well, um, I thought it was really. I thought it was too long. Well, I did too. I thought the scenes could have been shorter throughout, and you know. And I also don't. I didn't really need to see the one with the switchblade. Yeah, I could have done without that also. Yeah, because it doesn't really. For me, it doesn't. Sh- I mean, you look interesting and different, but I think for me, being a casting director, uh, I can envision how different you may be able to look. I would never think, oh, this person only has one look, because obviously. We can adjust the hair, the makeup, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that scene in itself didn't necessarily bring anything, bring any added value. That was just my thought. Yeah. And my, my big advice is lose the skeleton scene at the end. Okay. And, um, you mean the man on the street interview? Yeah, exactly. Right. Because yeah. it's like, it, what was that for it a Jay Leno thing yeah. or what, you know, it isn't, it isn't any, it isn't acting. So it's just sort of a slice of life. So because of that, it doesn't really showcase anything in particular. So Ivy, let's come together in in, in, in general. Jennifer, your yeah, your yeah, reel's yeah. good. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> um, but we agree. Lose the man on the street with the skeleton at the end. The switchblade scene we really didn't need to see. Okay. Uh, put your name at the end of the reel so that we remember who you are, uh-huh. and try to shorten it and tighten it a little bit and lose some of the music. Perfect. And I would also suggest too. Um, to keep working on cultivating and changing and adjusting and updating your demo reel and lose some of the stuff as you get more new stuff to put on that's more current, that's maybe juicier, production value is higher, start getting rid of some of the stuff that you have there as sort of place fillers. So when you're sending your demo reel to a producer or to a casting director or a prospective agent or manager, that it really just showcases the best that you have to offer rather than just existing tape. Good. good. Yay! It's so good to have you back, Mark Bass. And thank you for watching The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network. See you next time.